and, and for accuracy, you want to, you want to do that. And even for the rod, it's built yeah, up for right. the snap and down. It is now seven o'clock. Oh, mine says six fifty nine. Six fifty seven. Oh, mine says six fifty eight. Mine says six fifty eight. Yeah, I'll let it on slowly. Where, where, where? Uh, you're talking to me though. Okay. All right, mine says six fifty nine right now. Mine just changed. All righty, we are going to call to order the plan commission meeting for May 4th. I am suspending Robert's rules of order for this meeting so we're in compliance with the village ordinance. Roll call, please. President Langfeld? Here. Uh, Trustee Kettleboulder? Here. Commissioner DeQuette? Yes. Commissioner Xander? Here. And uh, Trustee Tusius? Here. All right. We have a quorum. Let's stand for a pledge of allegiance. A pledge, pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible. We have public uh, comment. This is an opportunity for anyone to address the plan commission on any issue, either on the agenda. Please observe the time limit of three minutes. Plan commission encourages input from residents. I didn't have anyone register for, for public comment. I do see that there were a few that joined us after the, the 7 o'clock deadline. All right, why don't we check and see if anybody wants to. I see that uh, Tammy Stanek and Dan Torgerson. After the seven o'clock deadline, do you have any public comment? Uh, no, I just wanted to, to listen in. Okay, thank you, Tammy. Dan, do we have any comments from you? Yeah. Dan? We can talk that all right, I'll, I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yes, Dan. Sorry, I, I have nothing. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody here? Otherwise, we'll get going on the agenda. All right, general business approval of the minutes from the plan commission meeting held April 14, 2020. So moved. I have a second. Second. All right, I have a motion and a second to approve the plan commission meeting. Minutes from April 14, 2020. All in favor say aye. Aye. All in favor say aye. All right, we have a public hearing for a request for a conditional use permit for small solar energy system uh, to be located at 4001 Creekside Way Cross Plain. I have a motion to open up the public hearing. I see motion. All right, I have a motion and a second to open up a public hearing for conditional use permit for small solar energy system at 401 Creekside Way. All in favor say aye. Aye. All right. aye. Okay. So we have a uh, public hearing. Anybody want to speak at this public hearing? So I have all the lines unmuted. Uh, if anyone would like to speak, uh, for the public hearing for 4001 Creekside Way. All right, anybody here wishes to speak? All right, do I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Do I have a second? No second. All right, I have a motion and a second to close the public hearing on the conditional use permit for small solar energy system 
for a four old four thousand one Creekside Way. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say it is closed. Can I get a hurrah? Motion that it's like I can get time. Can I get time? Thank right. you. Okay, so now we're at uh, number three, dis discussion and possible action regarding the request for a conditional use permit for small, small solar energy system to be located at 4,000 on Creekside Way. Do I have a motion? I'll make that a motion. I have a second. I'll second. I have a motion and a second to approve the conditional use permit for a small solar energy system located at 4001 Creekside Way. Any discussion? You want to maybe I'll give a presentation? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Closer. Yeah, so we, re we received a, uh, an application for a conditional use permit um, for uh, 4001 Creekside Way uh, to add rooftop solar panels. Uh, to the, the residential building. Um, this is similar to the previous uh, applications that, that the plan commission and the village board has seen. Um, it, in reviewing the property, there doesn't seem to be any vegetation that is blocking um, or interfering with the solar panels. Again, they are roof mounted and, and therefore uh, can be seen from the street side. Um, which is not unsimilar to, uh, which isn't any different from some of the previous uh, systems that you've seen before. Um, so with that being said, we did send uh, notice to all of the, the neighbors uh, within 100 feet of the, the residential building. Uh, we did not hear any objections to them. Um, we did post the newspaper and did not hear it. Um, any objection to that at this point. Um, considering the, the design and the build uh, with the company Everlight Solar, uh, we've, worked, we've seen them come through before. They have, they are the same company that has worked with the previous applications. Um, and I believe some of them are even up already on, on some of those residential homes. Um, so with that being said, uh, we. Uh, staff does recommend uh, the recommendation of approval of the uh, conditional use application to the uh, launch board. Right, anybody have any questions? Anything they'd like to add? All right, uh, we'll do a roll call vote on this one, please. Uh, Trustee Kettlebell? Yes. Commissioner DeQuiet? Yes. Commissioner Xander? Yes. Trustee Dulcius? Yes. President Langfeld? Yes. Motion carries. All right. Uh, we'll need a motion for a public hearing for a petition from Corey Baldwin, Midtown Construction to amend its specific implementation plan for 1504 Main Street. So I have a motion to have a second. A second. I have a motion to open up a public hearing for Midtown Construction to amend its implementation plan for 1504 Main Street. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Same. I lost my place yet. We have a, we're open for a public hearing. Is there anybody out there that would like to comment at this public hearing? Okay, just a minute. I'm going to unmute all the participants. All right. Okay, everyone is unmuted. Um, is there anyone that would like to uh, add public comment uh, for the amendment to the specific implementation plan for 1504 Main Street? Um, yeah, I have okay. a comment. Okay, can you identify yourself, please? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Dan Torgerson. I'm the next door neighbor. Okay, go ahead, Dan. Yeah, um, I, I am uh, in favor of this, and, and you know, Corey's been a great neighbor. Um, I really like him. He's been, you know, they've been a great company to have next door, and honestly, they've helped me uh, a couple of times, uh, particularly uh, August 20, you know, 21st, uh, you know, 2018, right after the flooding. 
they're fantastic. They were they were very helpful uh, when I had four feet of water in my basement, and um, you know anything that can help their business flourish. Uh, personally, I'm in favor of. So, you know, That's this is the kind of business that I would want. You know, in in my town, wherever I live. That's all I have. All right. Thank you very much. Um, this, this is Tammy Stanek, and um, we live next to him. Actually, I have a property near him as well. And um, I, my, uh, it, it sounds to me as though they're trying to make improvements. And I think the improvements can only enhance the look of the, you know, the business on the main street. And um, again, I, I find them to be a, a very, very friendly um, people. Corey, I, I have met as well, and I feel that he has um, been very good to work with as far as, you know, neighborly. So I'm all for it. All right, thank you very much. This is Joshua Fall. Um, I've, I've met Corey before, I, I live directly next to him. Um, in the red house and tammy's my mother um i'm not opposed to it I, you know i think local business is good for the economy um he's trying to do improvements i i mean it's it's i i give it a go I, you know from my, my opinion i i wouldn't see one an issue with it but uh I spoke with him and he said he said that uh there was this meeting so i told him i would i would attend uh, so here I am. I agree with it for me, Joshua Paul. Yeah, thank you, Joshua. Yes, sir. Do we have anyone else? Fine once, twice. All right, thank you. Is there anybody here that would speak right now? Well, uh, I, I guess what I would do is we'll probably have questions for you in the next item. So that would probably be easier to do in a public hearing. All right. Do I have a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. Second. I have a motion and a second to close the public hearing for Midtown Construction uh, and uh, Implementation Plan. And all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed say. Public hearing is closed. Discussion and possible action regarding the petition on Corey Baldwin Midtown's construction to amend its specific implementation plan for 1504 Main Street. Uh, I have a motion. I have a motion. No second. A second. Discussion. All right, I guess, Corey, I got, I have a couple. I understand the original, but on your letter to us, um, I guess what I'm wondering is exactly what do you want to amend in this plan? Okay. Um, we only brought to my attention that our original plan apparently requires the board to approve the vision to the building. So that's the, that's the first item. Okay. The 10 by 36 edition on the rear. Anybody that's familiar with the building, uh, there's currently a little bump on the back of the building, the fire department building. Okay, we're just wanting to extend that to the east and more across the entire. It's currently 10 by 18, and you want to add another 36 feet of length. That's how it is existing. And are you adding on to the part that's already like? Have the two by fours up. Yes. You're adding on to that part. No, that that represents the addition. Oh, that is the addition. That represents. Okay. It. Okay. So it's not large. No, I I I, I, I saw it. I know. Yeah. It's like rough in right now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I hope everyone understands all that went down. Well, it doesn't matter. I, I just I wasn't clear if that was the part we were talking about yes. or you adding on to that part. No. No, no that's fine. fine. So the addition. And that's for warehouse space. Yeah. Uh, the second agenda or second item is uh, just adding natural daylighting with some tunnels and skylights to that addition structure and to other parts of the building. 
Is that flipped to the And that they have to have approval for putting in skylights? Yeah, so uh, uh, I, we have Mike's landing on the All right. Well, that's why I don't want to. I mean, if it is, it is. You're here. I, it's interesting. Yeah, any, uh, any, ex, any changes to what was the specific implementation plan at that time that requires a change. And uh, that spells it out. Number eight here. Uh, any amendment to the plan that's trying to require the recent Okay, very good. All right. The, uh, the third bullet point is adding another concrete slab 10 by 16 to the back of the patio in the back of the building. So that would be even further east of the addition we're proposing. And then there'd be another four foot by four foot concrete pad to put in front of the walk door of the addition. Okay. Uh, the fourth item is to amend the mixed use language that is currently established when we did the zoning in 2008. At that time, we had a residence and someone living there at the time. Right? And the language says it will be uh, residential and commercial. Not, it was put in there for my benefit, not for anything else. So I, I like that language amendment to say instead of it will, but it may. Okay, so that we can utilize that space. For our offices and businesses growing. So we can always, the thought is if we ever want to backpedal and make it a residence again, we can also sure. in the space that it's in. Okay. And then uh, the fifth bullet point back when the Main Street was reconstructed and all the utilities went in, the argument right is that we had installed, uh, which were part of our implementation plan on the east side of the property. I don't have exact footage, maybe it's 20 feet of them were removed as part of the excavation of the sewer work and the village is going to come back and put them in. Uh, I never pressed it. Uh, I know my neighbor Dan, who lives in that home, would like us to put those back, so I was hoping the village would come back and put those in there. Uh, and then the sixth bullet point, uh, construction of an east-west fence at the eastern side of the property to eliminate pedestrian traffic. It's not rampant, but you do see folks that come through there. So it would be a fence to connect the Arctic Vital Line to the end wall of the building. That part, show me on the map. Uh, what was the address of that part? Uh, it's between uh, the neighbor and them. You can kind of see the path. You come off the bridge, it's just a short track. Right? Yeah, and lots of people take a short track. Yeah, and it's not that from the bridge straight across. Or from the yeah, bridge. if you went from the bridge to get to Highway 14. Yeah. So that little shaded area that you should see right there. Right there at the lot line. Oh, run that way. Yeah. Oh. If they're on the walks, they can Yeah. You can almost see the path from there. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if it's to the back corner of the building or middle of the wall. You know, you have a 30 foot stretch in there. It could go anywhere. And it's, li it's liability reasons that we need to bring to attention. And the last two uh, bullet points refer to to what we are referring to as future plans. Yeah, I'm not here to give you that exact plan. I would like to have the language put in uh, for the ability to put a, uh, a business sign, perhaps, in the northwest corner of the property at the corner of the east of the bay. Yeah, my only confusion on that is that it's going to need to come back yes for approval yes so i'm just trying to figure out what's the advantage of having it in there versus just waiting till you're ready to do it and then you you know come in with the whole plan and everything my thinking would be as an order form to come to the plan for approval of the sign we have to go to the board first get approval to amend the site plan then get approval for the sign it's just a delay of three, three months why, why, why couldn't you do the whole thing? Because he has to have a plan as first. Yeah, but I mean, you come with the, that plan with the amendment to put this sign in. But he has to change the, the wording of the thing before, so that would have to get approved first, wouldn't it? No, before, no, that he, before he could get the sign. 
in the country. You could have you already mentioned what kind of mess he was talking about. Mm -hmm. It'd be no different, in my opinion, that he comes back and says, I want to put a sign up. This is what it looks like. It meets code. I'd like to change my, my. If, if I could add, I, I think yeah. because of how this property is owned, the attorney has to get involved and rewrite all of this language, I would assume, but on, on how we present this. Right. So if it's at least in, if we implement it in concept, then he doesn't have to, or she doesn't have to revisit that later. It's already been approved by this body of the board that conceptually it can be done because it's in that document. The, the, the amended specific yeah. implementation plan. There is a fee to amending the Okay, so these two line items, my thought process was just conceptually approve them that yes, in the future you could come back and revisit this with, to your point, it, it all has to be approved. I'd have to bring in a sign, sign plan that has to be approved. Yeah, I don't have a problem. If there's a savings there, it just seems. To me, it seems like it's it'd be smarter to do it all in one. But yeah, if this was traditional kind of commercial zoning, like in other parts of the yeah. village, I, you're exactly right. I, we wouldn't have to go through this step. Okay. Yeah, if there was if there was not a plan at all, uh, we would go through it all the same. Okay. Well, it might slap me on the on the line here, Steve. But Mike, do you hear us? I can. Can you hear me? We can hear you. Is there any input that you'd like to add? Right. Right. The reason that this site is so um, under control is this was originally the fire department. It is a building surrounded by residential development. And so the plan development that was approved required any changes to come back before the village. And I think Mr. Baldwig is being very uh, prudent and imaginative uh, on these last two bullet items. And I, I think the reason he, he would like to get this approved now in concept is, you know, even putting together the building plans for a second floor addition or asking someone to put a bid together for a sign, you know, can be expensive. And if he has the general green light from the village on these two items, he could go forward and get those plans made with some assurance that you're gonna approve them if they meet all codes. Okay, I don't know if this is, I guess this would be the legal question since it wasn't in the original uh, yep. Notice, can we add to that without it being noticed? Because I'm just, I mean, these last two, I don't know if the public knows that this was going to be approved. I don't think the sign is the problem, but I'm just wondering if anybody would have a problem with the second floor. Yeah, so the, so the, the notice was for any change. This, this is what we uh, and this is my fault. I, I don't have any problem with it. I, I mean, personally, I live next door, and you know, any, any improvement on a building is gonna, you know, increase everything. You know, you guys get more taxes, stuff like that. Like the property value is gonna go up. You know, and, and they're there that's what they do for like their construction company. I don't know that imaginative to build a second story at all. No, I, I, I don't have an objection to it. I just don't want to be in a legal battle where we're getting sued because it wasn't properly noticed all the aspects of it, you know. That's the only thing. Then I have Calvin go ahead. Well, yeah, Mike. I, I, you guys read it through this. I, I didn't know all of it. I mean, it, it, so it, it's good. It's going through. Just for the public's understanding. Hey, Josh, this is Bill. I'm just going to put you on mute right now. Right now, whole, okay, sorry. If you have a comment, please put up your hand. Um, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. 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 Oh, there, Mike. Well, um, what, what I'm wondering is if the letter from Mr. Balweg was submitted at the same time as the public 
hearing notice was out. It was, yes. Then I think it's okay. Do you want to call back on Joshua? Yeah, go ahead. You can call back and then Kelly. Don might just answer my question. Oh, okay. Joshua, did you have any more comments? No, sir. Sorry about that. Thank you. Mike, you still have your hand up. Is there anything more that you want to add? Mike Slavy? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Thank you. Anybody have any questions? I got it. just some clarification. Um, this amends the SIP. It doesn't replace it. Correct? So everything that's in the other one, unless it specifically needs we're right. just adding to it. Unless, unless this language specifically relates to the language of the previous yeah. specific implementation plan, that language still stands. And then, second, um, when we give, when we provide these, is it for Corey and his company, or is it with the buildings that travel beyond that to the building? Like if you were to sell in a couple of years or whatever, like would, it, would, these, would the SIP tra transfer? We should. It goes to the building. That was my understanding. Mike, is that correct? The, the specific implementation plan goes with the building and the property, unless it specifically states it in the plan? That's absolutely correct, Bill. Thank you. Can I add to that? Yeah. Go ahead. So that, when we rezone that, uh, that was why we went down the path of the PDD, so that I could sell it to another contractor and they could likely just move right in. But if I sold it to a car dealer, They'd have to go in front of this commission, in front of the board, and all of that would have to be together. So that gives the control of that property and its usage squarely in the hands of this entity. Anybody else? I have one other question. Okay, go ahead. Uh, all, all the other ones answered that question, but no one answered it that. Um, the, the stuff that's in here from previous, from, I guess I'm looking at pages. So on page PDF 49, um, page one, two, and three, those have all happened, right? They've happened within 30, 60, and 90 days. And these are have to do with landscaping, exterior facade, interior modification. I'm surprised we had an interior modification, but we did. Uh, but landscaping, all these things have happened, correct? I believe so. I, I guess okay. I'm going to I don't, I didn't see a dialogue. <laughs> Uh, I saw the I'll be by there. So I mean landscaping for you in Carolina. Some of the landscaping was altered as part of the highway project. Oh okay. Um, yeah, we yeah, many things got changed as a result of that. Yeah, and so I'm wondering if I mean do we need to do we need to address any of those things just to clean up some mess. Uh, and then um, do we really need the part about the arbor body in there? I mean I feel like I don't think you can put that I I think that's we, we should do it, but I don't think. Oh yeah, I agree. That's the deal, but I don't think that's part of the plan. Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, that was part of the original plan to have our providers, because I remember that discussion. Yeah. But if we took them out and we said we're going to put them back in, yeah, I think that's I think it's an oddity to have that. That was going to be the next one. That, does that really belong in this plan? No, it's it's already required to be there. We were the ones doing a little bit of the project. And have you asked Jerry on? I haven't talked to him. All right. Uh, is this going from here? Where does it go? If assuming we pass the same, where does it go? I think it's just to the board. It's recommended to the board. Plan or parts wouldn't see it at all? It's okay. Unless you want to, I mean, unless you want to keep writing parts. That, that would be unusual. Okay. That would be unusual. But it borders the park, I guess that's what it is. It's shared access. But, yeah, but I don't think he's not doing anything. Like yeah, that. I, that's what I love the fence. Okay, yeah, the ordinance is specific to the, the plan commission. Okay. Anybody else? Okay. Yeah, Jerry, you want to talk about the plan commission? But what I guess what I'm wondering is, you take five out of them. That's the uh, trees. You're, you're referring to my level. Correct. Right? Okay. 
Well, I, when, I, when you went down the list, that, that's why I wanted you to go down the list. So I was clear because there were a number of documents that I want you to clear. Right, that, you're right. That doesn't. Because the only thing that I see of changing the language from the first one was dealing with the residential. Yes, sir. That's the only one that I saw that actually changed in the old. The rest are additions to the old one. Right. And number five is the only one that to me sits out that I don't think that should be part of it. I mean that's a separate action. So what we can what we can do for the, the village board meeting is now that we have a recommendation from the, the planning commission, we can draft the specific implementation plan to be reported. So we're put that addition to the line and change in our line so that the village board can see exactly what's It's one document. Well, we still need a motion to make that. We still need a recommended a motion to recommend. So I'll make a motion to recommend this to the village board to um to request the amendment of our of the set per address of one five zero two Main Street Pass Lines. I think that was right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We already had. Oh, okay. Yeah. I made that motion. Oh. Yeah. But here's the thing. That still includes Number uh, five. the trees, and it doesn't include seven and eight. The seven and eight was oh, from right. his so letter. That was That's what I, yeah, right. that, so we got to slow things down. And what I would, my suggestion again, let's just bolt this one down, it's restate like another one that yeah. includes yeah. everything that we want included, and then we'll put this other one to the side. All good? Yeah. All right. Anyway, yes. Yeah. We'll I have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call. Roll. Uh, Trustee Kelvin? No. Commissioner DeQuet? No. Commissioner Sander? No. Trustee Cooper? No. President? No. So before we show, let's just all agree. So we're, here's what I what I say is changed from what the motion was. We're taking, we're not even going to address the three part, right? That will we'll address separately. What we want to add is the future signage, if you'd like to do that, and future expansion of a second floor. So it should be basically we're agreeing to one through six, or well, one through Seven. four, six, and then we're adding signage and expansion for the second floor. Does that sound right to you, Tori? Yes, sir. I don't, total is seven. Yeah, I don't think we're adding anything. I think, Jay, that's all in there. We're only taking out trees. The last two are still in and it's like a request. Yeah, but that's not part of the implementation plan. The, the, what was the, what's on the table is the implementation, and that's not listed there. What he's saying, he's giving justification on why he wants the plan changed, and he would like two things added that were not so your motion is to change items one, two, three, four, and six, and add item number seven. If you want, what I would do is I would use the language of adding one, two, three, six, seven, eight, changing number four because that's a change from the original, and not addressing five. Does that? That's not bad. Yeah. That seems to me what we're trying to do here. Yeah. Okay. And I'll make that motion. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat it, but I'll make it. <laughs> I'll second it. Very good. So I have a, a motion and a second on the specific implementation plan changes for 1504 Main Street. All right. 1502. What's that? A No, fifteen oh four. So it says in the third one. Oh, well, we better correct that. Which one is it? It's fifteen hundred, fifteen oh two, and fifteen oh four. Technically, it started its life as fifteen oh four. Right. The specific development plan. Yeah. Is for fifteen oh four. So okay. we're using fifteen oh four. Okay. I'm <laughs> good. No, I didn't catch that. <laughs> All right. So everybody, clear on what the motion is. Yep. All right. Let's do a roll call vote, please. Trustee Kettlewell? Yes. Commissioner DeCoy? Yes. Commissioner Sander? Yes. Uh, 
Trust the user. Yes. Yes. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. So I feel a little confusing there. And we'll uh, deal with the three issue. Okay. All right. If Jerry gives any slack, let's go. All right. Let's do it. Thank you. All right. Uh, Jerry, you're going to Let's uh, discussion and possible action regarding option for downtown public uh, parking. This is an item that Kevin uh, wanted to discuss. I don't think we're going to really have any action tonight. Um, I guess, Kevin, why don't you uh, just give us an overview of what you're looking for, and then we can kind of have a discussion on where we want to go or what the next step is. Sounds good. Thanks. Yeah. Um, the J board level has instituted a policy of asking the community's board meeting what agenda topics we want on board agendas. We inform the board of uh, trustees. Uh, we've had appreciation. Thank you very much for, for that good practice. Uh, one of them I asked about was uh, parking lots downtown. Well, I'm, my office is obviously down there, but I get it from a lot of other folks as well, and especially from folks that are using Xander Park. And if we were in full business mode and people were using Xander Park at the level they are now, um, it's pretty packed down there uh, during the weekend, especially. And so um, I was looking at the idea, uh, or I was asking a question, I should say, uh, where can we find parking? Mostly between, uh, you know, from, that, from, from, P, from P and Bridge all the way up into uh, past the business district there um, at uh, my Gopher Crossing. Really, that's the window I had in mind, but we can look beyond that as well. And the lack of public parking in there. Uh, especially for Xander Community Leads Department, I think uh, it's a big attraction, it's going to have to use, and, uh, and parking is often full. And uh, our core businesses are being run. And if they were, they'd be struggling to find parking on weekends. Uh, and there's some ancillary issues with uh, street parking along some of the, the side streets as well. So I'll, I brought it up because um, I'm curious to know what others think. And then Jay rightly suggested that a prior plan. Here we are today, just to come up with some ideas and some thoughts. There is, I will say, an empty lot for sale next to the coffee shop. Um, other than that, it's pretty dense with uh, buildings and a very, very degrees of, of, of age, let's say. Um, uh, and there are some options and, and, and some worries about parking being across the street as well. Across the so, uh, can I interject just yeah, to, just to let you know what the pin means? So I, I went through uh, earlier today and just kind of pinpointed where current parking is and, and where the green area, the, the green pin is where my mouse is here. Mm -hmm. And then in the red pins are just some ideas. And so just looking at the map, I know that there was a previous discussion about sharing a parking lot and I believe Cootie's bar. Mm -hmm. There, was some, there has been some discussion about uh, minimum parking along American Legion Drive here. There's a small section where this is a, a one-way and, and putting in some, some horizontal or some, some diagonal parking there. There's been discussion about turning this into a one-way. Um, these lots over here uh, are in the floodplain. So, you know, naturally to me as an administrator zoning a zoning administrator uh, looking at potential um, lots that could be acquired through various flood mitigation programs and turning that into whether it be uh, green space or turning it into a parking lot um, sometimes works to your favorite. So those are just ideas at this point. All right, I'm going to go along. I got a couple of one that backs one of them. I think we should also be looking at off of urban. Now that we have bridges, I'm seeing a lot of people, you know, go by the fire station and cross in down at the other end. So I don't, I think now that we've made it much more open and easier to get to the park from urban, I think that's still an area that could be looked at. When the Lions Club did the one way on uh, Mill Creek Way and they did park it, I was surprised how many cars were parked in there. And I, I thought it worked out really well. You know, they ran it one way. Uh, now, I don't know if, you know, clearly we'd have to talk with the businesses and stuff, but clearly if you park cars on the park side of it, um, 
you can get a lot of cards. That's probably like 30, 40 cards you can get along from the third ball all the way. Well, I was thinking it'd be more than that. Well, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I just, when they did it, you know, obviously on the curb so you're, you're, you're saying all the way from the existing parking lot down at, at Highway 14 where the yellow dot is? Is it yellow or green or whatever? Yeah. yeah, all the way down. From there, all the way down. Around. Yeah, and I, I'm debating, to me, logically, it seems you would have it a one way going from east to west, mm -hmm. and then, but still have people park on the left side because you got all the driveways of the businesses on, on uh, the north side. Um, yeah, but I can see going the other way, then the car would park facing, uh, you know, the correct way. I, but I don't know what the businesses would like on that, if they would be open to that and then which way they wanted to, but to really maximize your parking, you have to have it on the south side. The north side, there's too many driveways and other things that are in the way. Right. Uh, now, I'm I'm walking every weekend down there, sometimes at night, depending on how my wife feels, and I'll be on the parking lot that's already there, um, right there. I've never seen more than five cars on it. Oh, no, Saturday. We got there fishing at 7 o'clock. By 9.30, it was packed. Okay, because I'm, I'm usually down there in the afternoon about 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, oh. and there's not that many cars. Not to say that it can't happen. But no, I'm, yeah, no, and I, 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 you probably see it more than I do, but Saturday, that park was packed. By the time we left, uh, there were kids playing in the in the, the crack, and it was nonstop. It was unbelievable. And out of all of the ideas, the one-way... On Mill Pond would be the best option in my book. The only thing is, I would like to see it go east to west. I agree with you on that. But the only problem is, kids get out of the passenger side of the car. Yeah, that's true. As a general rule, not to say the parents can't plan to do it the other way, but you have a child seat, the parent driver wants to look over and see the kid. Yeah. So that would be the only concern with running it east to west. The other concern is, uh, I'll park on there is the, uh, the curves. Especially the one down by our building, and I say yeah, yeah. Cultures, but you know that one up there. You know, as you start curving, you're taking up a little bit of roadway, so it may not be that entire length, but there could be some proportion. I, I've heard both uh, businesses like this idea and not like it. And I would have done we done a, like a survey. Well, no, no, it's just the folks that I talked to. Uh, there's, there's um, yeah. But I, I think that's worth uh, investigating. And, and I, I would think from the complaints that we. I still hear once in a while from buying pots in to make a parking lot. If we buy enough of these properties this time, make a parking lot to make a lot of complaints. Yeah, well, my, that is one, but I think things have changed since there. We, we really did do that parking lot the way we should have. I mean, right now, what really gets me is it's a storage. Well, most people don't look at that. It's a pile. Yeah, it's pile yeah. with whatever you yeah. buy. But my biggest thing is you're losing a potential great spot for your business. Home. You don't want to put some a parking lot in the middle of downtown. That, that's why I was thinking more further. Yeah, and so you don't want to put a parking lot in downtown? Is that what you're saying? I don't think we need them that close together. I, um, you, I mean, that's my opinion. I mean, you're only walking two blocks. Yeah, my thing is, is good, Julie. Kevin, do you know what they're asking for for that last five minutes? Last I checked, it was one and a quarter. Yeah. Do you think they'd ever sell it just like Xander's did as a land contract? Like, right now we have no money, but like if we knew, like, we could pay them so much per year. They live in California. That's um, the we, the village, gave them a special split on that lot. I think there's something, I think there's. I mean, that would, that's what I would hope for, if we could treat it like we did with Xander's and said, yeah. like, you know, every year we could do, I don't know, 25 But you would turn that into a parking lot versus pull it all in into a building? Because we still have the Tamils building that's sitting there empty that we could do something with. We yeah. still have that yeah. building that's still empty. We have the house next to it that is not. Well, that's exactly, you're right. So I would take those, you could, there's room, you can do something with those two lots. So I agree, Judy, 100%. I think that the one thing about having that lot is if you could get control of it, if any developer wanted to develop the buildings next to them, we would work with them right. on trading, getting our money back, whatever it would mean for the development to happen and still retain parking. But in the next three or five or ten years, whatever that takes, we have a parking space. Yeah. So it would be an inter a potential interim solution. I mean, even if I like parking ramps, I will tell you the truth because I just feel like you get more for your money for your space, but we don't have the money for that. I know. 
Okay. In my opinion, I, I, I prefer the, the parking lot versus the uh, the one way. And because right. uh, just for the fact that it's next to a park like that, and when you start lining all that traffic up, and then if, 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 if traffic is coming, I believe it, it just becomes a uh, uh, potential child running out between a couple cars and getting hit. Right. Is my that, that, that's my biggest fear because it is a park and you're going to see kids. Yeah, but they're on this side of the park. But you're parking the cars on this side. On this side. Right, on this side. So they're not. The, the park is on this side. Right, the side that they're parked on. Yeah, so if the kid's out there with his dog and the dog jets out and the kid comes out between two cars and somebody's driving through, down through there. It's just, I, I, it, it just looks like, it looks like a danger zone to me. I don't like the park in the I'd rather have a lot. I mean, and I don't right, where it's, where it's, yeah. where it's controlled and, yeah. and, and, then that, and then that visibility stays up and there. Uh, that the potential of uh, people that would take over the creamery if they have the patio out there, the last thing they want to be doing is looking at cars parked along the road all the time versus looking at the park. Well, no, that's true. That, that's true there, but I guess you're looking at, to me, what I'm looking at is that park is used a lot. Thank and you. with the future of putting a shelter down, it's going to be more. That is a quick way of getting parking. Yeah. I could we could have parking in two weeks there. Yeah. That's and, and I'd be I'd be okay with it, but I, I would not want to see the entire street. I would want to leave an opening yeah. area well, here. So I mean, you, we could in theory just take and put it by the Ice Age Trail up to Sisters on Main. Yes, and I mean that would give you enough for yeah the long straight stretch there or what you know whatever the number would be yeah you know I yeah. mean if, then it wouldn't block the view. It would add a lot more car space. Ten cars is a lot. But no one, you guys don't think bourbon would work? For bourbon them? would work, but yeah, where? I would like to investigate that a little bit. But where? Well, there's all kinds of spots. There's two big open lots there. Have we talk, thought about um, um, some of those, like uh, even the Rossler building and stuff? You know, there's a lot of space back there that I don't think they need. And maybe we could get some spots there. You know, Dane County Senior Center might be able to, you know, do something, but you're just going to put signage up for people know they park. Yeah, I'm just trying to. Um, when I was walking Sunday, a lot of people park at what was it? Oh. Well, I mean, they park really? on the street there, across from Maddox's. They park in the street and get out their bikes if they have bikes all yeah. But a lot of actually park in the road as a building parking lot, too. It was a Sunday, so I'm sure they don't care. But there's a lot of people that park in that parking lot. Right yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think that side gets yeah. easier if we ever have it. At least, especially the bikers, and that's where they they do drop their. Bikers. But your Ice Age Trail crosses Bourbon right down there, don't doesn't it? You get the fire station. Yeah, the fire station. Yeah. What um, this is at this this is an interesting idea. So, um, but this is at the end of the trailhead, right? So you make a parking lot. You do want to, everybody's like, oh, you can walk and get there. But the easier, the, the smarter you place that parking lot, the more likely it'll be used. Less likely you'll get people miss parking, um, parking in the wrong spots. Uh, so I like the idea of putting it at the end of the trail or at an intersection or some sort of logical place. You put it by Rustler. If you still got to go around one way or the other, you can right drive around. But it's an open lot right next to the fire station. Yeah, yeah. and that's a huge spot. Oh, do they? I don't know what's going on, but that would be. I mean, to me. You're right there by to get across there and you can go to the left, to the right, straight ahead. Can we have a park at the fire station? And I think you worry about if they have a fire call, you don't want to have that yeah. off park. And, and we don't control that the fire district does. I wonder if Ricky Patrick would let us have some their spaces. Because they don't that never gets full. I mean he's got the whole front parking lot and he's got that back oh, parking yeah. lot. That's huge parking lot. Remember when, that? when Land's End was there, yeah, we used to have like two the cars for Land's End. I mean, that whole parking spot in the back, because they have the front. If you go the other way, I mean, no. go to the south. Yeah. yeah, look, if they have all that for their employees, they could use, we could have a ton in that back. And it's not like he's going to get deliveries on weekends. No. So I guess the question is what do we want to do here? Do we want to get a, a special group together to look at options and make some phone calls and contacts? I mean, we're just talking about a ton of options. Yeah, sir. and there's more that we didn't know. Right. We want to get any comments from Mike. He looks like he wants to. Oh yeah, oh, absolutely. 
Mike, you look like you want to make some comments here. See you on the video. Well, I, I really like the way you guys are thinking, and I, I think being open-minded to the possibilities is a good idea. I, uh, including you know, exploring the one way on uh, the parkway. Um, I've got people in my office who can lay out parking lots really fast. So as you narrow down the options, we can get you an accurate count of how many spaces um, each each uh, alternative would yield. Mike, what kind of uh, zoning challenges would we have in regards to um, purchasing and turning it into public parking with size limitations? That comes to mind. Right. Any of the uh, commercial or industrial districts will allow a public parking lot. All, all parking lots require a perimeter of green space, 10 feet from the street, five feet from the other property lines. But uh, otherwise, the limitation is the uh, impervious surface ratio. Uh, which tends to be about 75%, except in the downtown where it can be 100%. Okay, thank you. So, I mean, if you would lose 10 feet off the sides of the one lot downtown next to Mary's, would that give you enough to put double wide parking? Well, it's only five from the side. Five from each side. Ten from fourteen. Ten from. But it, but it's five from each side, so you oh, get ten feet. Yeah. yeah. Well, related to the parking lots that that's there already on the property on each side. Just so got an angle on one side and straight in on the other. Yeah, if the angle saves about four or five feet. I think the uh, Ice Age Trail building has a very efficient parking and. You can kind of eyeball that that would readily fit in to the uh, lot you're looking at. Yeah. Well, I would really like to see something like the lines be different also. I mean, then yeah. I do feel like we really are going to be different. I mean, we need parking now because I walk it every day too. There's, there's a lot of people. They just pull over and park. They park at the coffee shop now, but if the coffee shop was up in the Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 Open process running. They have, right. have that parking right. full of their papers. Yeah. yeah. This Saturday, if all the businesses would have been open, yeah. there would have been some parking and shooting. I mean, I say show once had an event here. We had about, it was almost 300 people. And we, we worked with the community and we had parking all on every lot we could. Uh, I don't think we did one more. Um, and then we probably put people on the side, but most people had bourbon. And it was, it was, we had planned with a local business, but it was still an absolute nightmare. I'm sure it was. And uh, trying to get that, you know, people there and people back out. Um, we ran buses, we ran shuttles. So if you want to do anything where you can have a hundred people, it's going to be good. There isn't no spot. Other than the old uh, Land's End, where you could possibly put on cars. I'm not sure Land's End would have a spot for 100 cars. Well, not 100, but. We used to have a lot of employees. So during peak, we had like 600, well, it was always one shift, but we had like 600 employees per shift. I mean, for a day during peak. Right, but I'm just saying that one side of the lot. I'm just, you know, right, I mean, right, that's, one side, but we there's also side. Durham investment parking lot. I know. That's another one that. I know, I got all that there. And that is where well, we just have part. to, yeah. So we just have to do some research. And I'd be happy to, you know, I brought it up, so I'd be happy to take it forward. I'd love to have two or three or so people working with me and bringing ideas together. And you think the lot that's next to the fire station is sold? I know it's got a, um, it's got earnest money down on it. And they're exercising their rights and they have to get a nervous money. Okay. There's, no, quite, no. there's quite an environmental corridor that comes through here, too. Yeah, yeah, there's a hill kind of in the back right there. Right there, yep. 
and there's a drainage ditch along where the side. You don't, I don't see the sidewalk there. There's no sidewalk. There's a ton this side, ton the south side. No, 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 no. There's a sidewalk to the but, trail. Yeah. The where, that, the yellow yellow line line is, where that yellow one is closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 this is a 2017 area. Yeah, there's a ditch there and uh, a path. Yep. Well, has anyone and talked so, to you about that, Elon? We had someone inquire last year, late last year, um, right before our grant application time. Um, and it didn't, it didn't materialize because of the environmental. Yeah, well, I can't tell you exactly, but if you look at the uh, landscape on there, it starts going way down, you know, kind of like behind the fire station, it drops down. It just continues right across there. All right, well, do um, you want to get other citizens involved, or do you think it should be a subgroup of the planning commission? Or? I'm open for anything. What do people think? I think we need maybe uh, Kara from the chamber. Yeah, that would be a good one. I mean, you have to have some business people involved. With yeah, you know, yeah. She, she, like, and and we, how about someone from the parks department? Not from the parks committee, because it's obviously, I think there's a nexus to uh, that. Maybe you can get one of them to also be on it. On it. But I think it'll be very beneficial for us to the park, because we're talking about it. And then maybe if you want public safety, if you're serious to talk about the one way, uh, getting people across roads, you know, the safety aspect of it. Okay. Um, anybody else? Not public safety, but public fire departments would be fine there. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Eric. He, he wanted to be on it since he's one of the landowners. I think that would, and he would hit two things plus his parking lot. He might have some time right there. Well, we're just we're exploring. We're not giving them any. It's not, it's not going to be one that would oppose. Oh, this is a working. Yeah, right. I did park here the other day and I texted him. I said, Don't park, don't throw me away. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I got lots of you. He's been around for a long time and. Yeah, you didn't want to sell part, part of that parking lot to us. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you probably get on my contract. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, I will put together a small committee that I'll, I will let you know today. Okay. Who's on that committee? Okay. Um, just because there's a lot of stuff going on in the next month or two. Yeah, uh, I would say two months. Report back at the meetings. Oh, all right. you take you could take more time. Okay. Than that. I like deadlines though because it worked better. <laughs> okay, let's say by the end of summer. All right. August next week, Tuesday. August 31st. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Well, well parking but, feasibility today. <laughs> that sounds like a fancy name. I, I, I wouldn't mind help, but I'm, I'm coming in my, my busy season right now. Yeah. I'm going to be running. Well, your wife might be on it. Oh, that's true. Too, right. <laughs> Uh, do I have to worry about any sort of uh, issues? With, if there is, you know, well, Lori, you know, that's why I'm trying to stay away. Okay. I mean, Lori would be fine. Um, you can't but, have more than three. Yeah. Like if I called Judy, because you seem to know everybody in theory, <laughs> and I ask you questions, is there an issue? No, that's right. right. Because you're not discussing one of your, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. your fact finding subcommittee. That's all you are. I, I'm not That's seeing your committee of taking any action whatsoever except for to give us an uh, informational report to the planning commission. Right. That's it. Well, and then I may hit some of you up uh, for emails and questions. Well, this is great. I appreciate you doing it. It is a hot topic. Yeah, and yeah, it's definitely looks, one we need to, to address. It, it comes up in conversations and in many. Many times it, yeah. it comes up in conversation with people in the public. And with the business owners. Yeah. yeah. Reasons to develop on reasons not to develop on um, And I don't believe we need to take action on this because we keep it in very informal. Yeah, I think that's where we're at. Wow. 
Put our motion to adjourn. I'll second. All right. All in favor, say aye. 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 Oh, meetings adjourned. Thank you. Good job, guys. That was a great Thank meeting. You. <laughs> Good job. Good Thank you, guys. Hey, Mike. Hey. <laughs> Mike looks like he's getting a haircut somewhere. I don't know why. I think everybody's doing the home box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.